All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CatCast episode number 783. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who surprisingly doesn't give a shit about Pal World, Wombat. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Oh, Pal World. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, nope, you got me. We'll, we'll come to that said, later in the show. Yes, yeah, I, a, thought he said, I thought he said Power oh. World, so I was confused. Power World? Yeah, I'm like, what's that? I'm interested. <laughs> sounds like it might be infringing on some IPs. Power World sounds a little bit too much like Power World. Yeah, maybe they may sue. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't want to step on any toes. Nope, nope. Um, That's actually, funny. I'm gonna write, let me write down Power World so I can get back to that project later. Sounds like a good idea. I yeah. recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show, everybody. We won't, we won't be talking about Power World, but we will be talking about Pal World, which Power World is a better name. They should have went with that. I, I, I just work here. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> so what else is going on? So here's my story. Ready? This is I a story. Said I, I said I had a funny story. Maybe you'll find it funny. Maybe you won't. I don't want to like oversell it. Right. Last time I thought I had a story you would enjoy and you didn't. <laughs> so let's just agree that it's a story. It's a it's a hundred percent a story. Okay. So you know for for the last like four months now I've been having like a monthly telehealth doctor appointment with a bariatric doctor. You know, going through the whole weight loss thing and the exercise basically keeps me honest when a doctor talks to you and says, "How are you doing? Have you right. lost any weight? And here's what you could be doing, and here's what I think you should be doing." So I had my call today, but the doctor I had been seeing left the practice. So today was my first call with the new bariatric doctor. So I'm going through it and he says, you know, he's a nice guy. He's young. He's, you know, probably around shipwreck's age. And, uh, you know, we're younger Wait, than me. We're, we're, we're like two years difference at max, right? I know it's a joke. Uh, right. <laughs> and, uh, and so we're, you know, going through this stuff. It's like, oh, so what exercise are you doing? And I go, was that the funny I've been part going... of the story. Huh? <laughs> that was that the funny part of the story. <laughs> that was the funny part of the story. So I go, yeah, I've been going to Orange Theory like twice a week now for the last, you know, what, how long, how long has it been for almost four months now. And, you know, I try to go and I do this when I'm home. And he's like, oh, this, no, Orange Theory, that's great. That's great. And he's writing down his notes. And then he looks up at me and he pauses for a second. And he goes, what Orange Theory do you go to? So I tell him the location of the orange theory that I go to. Yeah. And he looks at me again and he goes, do you go Thursdays at 730? <laughs> I go, yes. He goes, you're in my class. That's crazy. So my new doctor is someone that I go to orange theory with every week. Is he going to correct your form if you're not doing the bicep no, curls properly? He, said, he, he basically was like, Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like I'm going to, I'm not going to, you know, be a pain in the ass. In the I'm not going to like say anything when we're in class. This is, you know, it's all <laughs> better. Not it's all different there. He's so, off the books. He's I mean, off the books. Off the clock rather. But you did laugh. So I guess it is kind of a funny story that that's, it's pretty, it's a pretty big coincidence. That's a crazy coincidence. You didn't get more excited when you said Orange Theory? Because, like, I would definitely get, I, you know, I always want to I talk about I think he was sort theory. of, like, in the zone of being objective, like a doctor. Right. Just writing you know, shit down. He's writing shit down. And then I think once he wrote it down and, like, took it, because it's telehealth. So it's, like, you know. It's, oh. Wait, so it's, it a wasn't, it's a telehealth thing from your town, basically? Or close? It, I mean, well, he doesn't work in, it, the office is not that close. but. Yeah, but, but that's, it's that's so weird. Like you figure, why? like if you're gonna do telehealth, you might as well like do it to somebody far away. No, that's not why? weird. Well, no, that's not the point. Is to do oh. it with a doctor that's good. That's all that matters. Oh, but you have the whole like world to choose from. Like, why would it just seems like what a coincidence? Not only that the doctor's right there. The ping was low. Connected him. <laughs> That's how it works. They need, you know, they need as many frames per second. No, as it's it's really more matchmaking at this I, point. I could the, go in with doctors. Yeah, I could go into an office if I wanted to. It's really more for my own convenience. I see. Okay, okay. So you have the doctor first, and then like they offer you the the telehealth option. Yeah, exactly. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'll do that because right, then I, I don't it. have to like. Then I only have to like block an hour out of my day as opposed to blocking an hour and a half or an right. hour forty five, depending upon traffic and stuff. Yeah, because I'm here. I just have to hit the button. And he was running early, so I was even done earlier than expected. 
but that was today and it was just very funny because again i know he even because he emailed me some notes after like some other unrelated stuff but at the end of his email he, go, he put see you tomorrow at orange theory <laughs> well more importantly how's his rowing form i'll have to let you know i'll pay attention because you've never really noticed him before no i mean yeah. he looked when he said it i was like oh i think i do know who you are right you know i i kind of from other like aspects of it because yeah i definitely know it's not that many dudes in the class probably in the no. first place so. yeah so it's definitely kind of crazy that you recognize uh, all the guys i think in my class because there's like three yeah mm -hmm. uh, so woo. it was just very funny and very strange and what are the chances and that is yeah. funny and strange mm -hmm. i agree yeah Yep, and a story, was, and it's story. So it's a hat and trick. it's story. I was all of my promises. I upheld my end of the bargain. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Speaking of Orange Theory, all I right, got bread's done. <laughs> <laughs> I got my personal record on the mile run on the treadmill: seven minutes and ten seconds, which is that's very good. Which is eight seconds better than my previous one. Cool. And uh, I was very excited about that. Very proud of myself because I couldn't even run the mile in high school gym class. Like in under 10 minutes, I couldn't even do it. And uh, I finished third on the leaderboard of old people <laughs> at my studio in the 50, in the 50 uh, decade, five decade group. Yeah, I checked my leaderboards and the, the best score was that also the person that was 60 plus. Nice, How, what was so, it? I forget what it was, but it was something ridiculous. And I'm like, that's insane. What was weird is I looked on my, like the best scores in my studio and it was like two or three of them were coaches. And I was like, you can't, the coaches can't compete and put their names on the scoreboard. Like nah, if they just, some shady business. Is that against the rules? It's against my rules. Okay. They're getting paid to be fit and we're paying to be fit. That's different. I don't know. My, my coach always takes, takes the class after mine. Right, but and I feel always, like they shouldn't be allowed to be on the She always says something about it, too. Like, she's, she's like, I don't want to do this. I just watched there, all of you do it. Yeah, maybe they're there to, like, give you aspiration of, like, hey, I'm right here with the coach. They are, that is great, but don't steal my spot on the leaderboard. They take your t-shirt, too, or? But no, that's something else. You don't get you anything don't get a for, for You don't, that, get, any, you don't get shit for being on the leaderboard. Except you can screenshot it. When they post I it, yeah, not, I mean, I get the information. That's the mm -hmm. important, <laughs> right? And our audience I did not knows. make the leaderboard for my location. for your power walking. Yeah, for my power walk. What can you do? Well, you know, took me a while. Mm -hmm. Took me in least, time. Yeah. I went. Is that that's isn't that good enough? I hate. Yeah, it sucks though doing that. Mm -hmm. Running. That's like you know, running eight point something miles an hour for seven minutes is not pleasurable i can't do that i would literally fall down my but, body just i don't have the coordination but what you learn is that you're not gonna die doing it like you think you're gonna die you feel like you're gonna die but like somehow you can just do it you know it's all it's a lot it's mental i feel a lot of it and i learned i learned that because it seemed impossible that i could do it and i was like oh i did it i could probably do it faster i didn't die all good. You could probably do it faster. Yeah. I'm going to shoot for uh, under seven minutes. For the next uh, yeah. One. I think that's a good call. Yeah. Yeah. I think under I seven. Do I could have run yeah. faster at the end. And the coach was cheering me on. He was yelling at me. And I was like, dude, stop yelling at me. I keep dying. <laughs> but, it, but it helped. It helped a lot. And then I saw his fucking name on the leaderboard like three days later. I was like, that's fucked up. He did it in 557, I think was his time. Pretty fast. That's good. That's better than your time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was better than every almost everybody's time. I think that's he came better, in second. Better than yours. Yes. Well, he's yeah. He's faster. I'm not. I'm not a good runner. Like I don't know. I you know. The only thing I know about running is what shipwreck ta taught me. Swing your hands. Keep your hands like not tight, but like in fist, in like a light fist, like you're holding eggs, and swing them through your pockets while you run. And that's the only thing I learned about running. And yeah, breathe. Good, breathe. But and breathe breathing is important every yeah. three steps breathe in and then out <laughs> and try which is fucking hard to do by the way it took me like two years to be able to do that i can i can give you some more tips now that you've you've mastered <laughs> okay. those <laughs> okay there's more uh, there's more 
Uh, yeah, there's 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 more to running oh, than man. just that. Yeah, Shit, just, okay. if you want to get fat, if you want to get faster. Yeah, I want to beat somebody. I want to be number two in the fifties, fifties group. <laughs> And my other big news was that I was recently sworn in as tree commissioner of my town. <laughs> I thought it was assistant tree commissioner. Wait. Shut up, no, you. No, no, no. Alternate. <laughs> alternate, 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 tree, 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 okay. alternate tree commissioner if is we're, the official title. If we're being technical, <laughs> mm-hmm. I think you're correct that it is the alternate tree commissioner. But as far as my oath went, I swore an oath as tree commissioner. Because I mean, you're the alternate, (laughs) right? You have all of the same powers that the the non alternate one does, I believe. If a tree falls on like two or three people, I'm there to take to take their jobs. To take the tree, yeah, to be like that's a tree. (laughs) (laughs) Take it off those dead guys. Um, But the interesting thing about it, and I wasn't really expecting it, is that I had to swear to uphold the U.S. Constitution. And the New York State Constitution, which I wasn't expecting at the time, so I have to do that now. So you should so you know to, that you, you should quickly, know that about me. Quickly read that New York Constitution, right? Just to make sure that you're I'm comfortable just, saying you're gonna. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it's I think to the best of my ability, what was was in there somewhere. Well, so you get yeah, a, probably yeah. Do you get a badge? I don't know a single thing about the job or what I'm supposed to how, do. How did this occur? Like, yeah, how is one, like, just <laughs> suddenly, like, oh, I, I become the alternate tree commissioner. This is did, like, did you save the, the tree commissioner's life? I, or I did got you an, kill the tree commissioner? Is it like, is it like that kind of thing? No, I got an email from like the town clerk saying the mayor thought you might be interested in being the tree commission, uh, you know, on the tree commission board or whatever it's called. Um, it's entirely possible that they just went through the town list in alphabetical order and my name came <laughs> up first just thinking. <laughs> or that the mayor, the mayor knows who I am because she lives close to me and you gotta just, get this guy to stop talking about the parking signs. <laughs> no, it was like, she doesn't who know about has that. sent That's not us her job. the most emails in 2020? No, no, never, never, <laughs> never, never. She doesn't have to deal with that at all. That's a totally different thing. She doesn't deal with me. I've never bothered her. That's not true. I did tell them to put in another stop sign or do something about it. But it was one time in, in 10 years, nine years. It's like not a big deal. Obviously. It made an w- impression. Made an impression. So this I was. Is, this is a man who <laughs> know, knows how things should be done around here. And. I'm going to learn. We I need think. some trees to like. What do so you, do you, have- you just like hit champagne bottles? No, the idea them? is the idea is people want to cut down trees to do to improve their property. And the town rules state that you can't cut down trees of a certain size. And if you do, there's fines. And you have to get permission to cut down trees. And there's a process. So is it trees of a certain, like, girth or height? You should know the answer to this. I, when called upon to discharge my duties, I will yeah. be fully equipped mentally with the rules and have everything on and hand. And the ruler. And a, whatever I need to do the job, I will, I will have that at my disposal. But at this moment, all I had to do was just uphold the United States Constitution and the New York State Constitution. Um, and as, after I was sworn in, the, like one of the board members was like, so no insurrections, you know, because then I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upholding my oath. I understand. Yeah. So. That's pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. Was there a bagel breakfast after? <laughs> no, it was at night. Oh. <laughs> I had to show up to like the local ta- the nighttime town meeting and no one was there. It was just me. Gotcha. I, I thought it might be like a bar mitzvah service where right afterwards you get bagels. It wasn't a big deal. Okay. It, that was just besides the oath. I, which I can't I was wait. Like, I can't wait for the the story. <laughs> I know this gonna the be super a super stressful story that you have to deal with some tree somewhere. And it's, some some woman who's it's not very the tree upset. ship. It's not the tree. The trees are fine. They just sit there, or whatever. It's the people that's the problem. Some very mm. upset woman who you told can't cut her tree down, and she's like, "How dare you!" Right, and then they just cut it down anyway and pay like the two hundred fifty dollar fine or five hundred dollar fine because they're rich anyway. Because you can't you know. tell me what I can and can't do at my own property. Right, I don't know if there's well, well, I'll let you know. So far, nothing. So far, you have all the information, and I'm loyal to the 
the U.S. and New York State. Exactly. Until yeah, I can't wait for them to find out that the that the actual tree commissioner was at the uh, was in Washington on January sixth. What's the New York State and motto? Do you know? Excelsior. Is it okay? Yes, yeah, the Marvel thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that where they got it? Yes. Yep. Okay. Good. Good to know. Um, yeah. Discharging my duties. Uh, I thought you did that before we did a show. <laughs> it was just. It was just a big fart. No, let's tell. yeah yeah i had a um a roast hot roast beef sandwich today with mozzarella bacon on toasted garlic bread hero the long island classic hero every town has like a different name for it ours was the main street here and let me tell you something it was delicious sandwich but at like six o'clock that felt very heavy inside of me yeah, I feel like that sandwich never needs the bacon. Is that no? Is that it needs the bacon. Things? Does it need the bacon? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bacon's the key. It needs all that. It needs know. the roast beef to be nice and soft, though, which this one was. Anyway, That's let's it. do some show feedback. Let's see if the duty is soft though when it comes out. I don't know. It feels like it's gonna be it might be might be trouble. Might need to get the hanger. So Cham Pipple has to say. Cham Pipple D has to say. Two episodes in a row with an epic wombat rant. Is he now the CADcast Andy Rooney? I've always been the CADcast Andy Rooney. I love it. Hope someone pisses you off this week. I mean, not yet, but I guess it's still early. Right. Yeah, there's time. There's time. Just read the chat. All right. Yeah, totally. I'll try not to. Uh, Viper139 has to say, the Remedy versus Rockstar case is very odd. This is in reference to the lawsuit over the letter R, or not lawsuit, but I guess, I don't know. Cease and complaint, desist. complaint, I think. Yeah, whatever they're calling it. The companies are on good terms. I thought they were not. And Remedy are currently working on another Max Payne game. I did not know that either. Maybe they are. Uh, that Rockstar will be publishing. Do we know that ship? I feel like that's something you would know. I feel like I've heard that, but I don't, I mean, to be honest, I didn't like Max Payne 3. Did Remedy, Remedy didn't have anything to do with Max Payne 3, I don't think they did. It felt like they did not. (laughs) It's been so long, but I, I know he was bald and he was like really into like killing people like out in the daylight. And it was a really strange max Payne game compared to the film noir stuff of him liking to kill people and in, in more inside and in dark places it was and not it was not remedy it was six it was eight different rock star studios worked on it it felt like it yeah um so yeah i think remedy could make a good max Payne game because they've they've done that twice um and it makes sense if rockstar's publishing it because i'm guessing Nobody else. I'm guessing they have the IP. I think they own it. Yeah, I think it's theirs. It's theirs. So I don't know. I'll I'll play it. They should get Marky Mark to do the voice work and just have his likeness. Well, James McCaffrey, the original Max Payne voice, passed away last month. Yeah. Don't don't use him. No, that would be different. Or AI voice. You know, I worked on that audition. Really? Yeah. The from the Max Payne. Audition? Yeah, from Max Payne with James McCaffrey, who got the who got the gig back a hundred and fifty years ago. <laughs> How is his breath? Very good. Oh, nice, nice guy, good guy. My guess Bad. with this rock star remedy uh, thing is they just have to like protect their mark yeah. They and... just have to be like I don't know. This is kind of in our realm. Like, Even if they don't throw, have a chance, throw something our way to say yeah. like we're protecting this. Yeah, right. Exactly. 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 Yeah. That. 